You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Wednesday, the 7th of June, 2017. We are looking at the charts today, starting off with the training that we've been telling you about on the quarterly chart. If you're interested in this training, we can literally track back accurate signals for when to get in and out of the market on the S&P 500 for 20 years. Would have kept you out of the crash in 2008. Would have kept you out of the crash in 2000, around late to mid to late 2000, all the way through 2003. Would have gotten you into the market toward the end of 2004 for that run up, out before the 2008 crash, and then starting in late 2011, the latest run-up that we have had. Folks, it is a fascinating chart. You want to know how to read that chart, more about it, have a copy of your own, be able to utilize it in the future, you need to write us, cw at chartingwealth.com, and we'll be happy to consider you for that training. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you would like it. There is no cost, as you guys have become well aware. We try to give you quality training, quality material. We want to encourage you, enlighten you, and educate you. Now, let's jump right into the market for today. Going to go to that quarterly chart to the weekly chart. What do we see going on in the S&P 500? The weekly chart continues to move up. Derivative oscillator continues to gain energy. We see that our derivative oscillator is gaining energy. The PPO is still moving up a little bit. Not as strong. Market was down for the day 0.32%. We had that weekly vertical entry point on Monday, let's look at the two-day chart. We see the two-day chart continues to move up. We, uh, we see a bit of a weakening on the PPO. The derivative oscillator is continuing up strongly. Now, if we look intraday, we were down 0.32% for the day. Keep an eye on the four-hour chart. It has been going up since it crossed over, going up back on the 23rd of May. If it crosses over going down, you may very well wish to consider getting out until there is a reversal back up again. You can sure feel free to do that if indeed that's the case on Tuesday, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday. Just watch the market. Consider carefully. People are always like, when do I get in? When do I get out? I got in looking for the weekly vertical crossover going up. The market slid sideways and gone down a little bit. Do I jump right back out? You may. If the market starts to plummet down, absolutely. We don't want to ride it down and lose more money than we should. But again, market is still above the two-day trend line. If we could draw a uh, a trend line as far as the, an accurate trend line, as far as the weekly, it would still be above that, but particularly pay attention to the two day. If we violate that for sure, that's something to look at getting out. But again, the weekly and the two day are up. Folks, we are training, we are learning, we're making sure that we go through every scenario. That's why I encourage you to do these trades. Don't just look at it and say, oh, I'd get in here. No, we have available for free online if you subscribe to our podcast. Uh, all you got to do is go to chartingwealth.com and sign up for free. We have links there to PDF files for something called our trade worksheet. What does that trade worksheet do for you? Well, it allows you to document your trades, to get in at certain prices, and to follow that trade, and to learn what it is that's going on throughout the course of the trade, and why it was successful or why it did not work. It's the best way for you to learn how these things progress, and how to progress yourself in your training, becoming a master at charting, which is worth what to you? Oh, I don't know, maybe many millions of dollars in retirement choice a whole lot earlier than you had otherwise suspected. So again, this is important. You need to practice this stuff. If you don't practice, if you just listen to me every day, I get to practice a lot because I get to explain to you what's going on. You're learning nothing. Fill out those daily market worksheets, do trades, fill out the trade worksheet, and of course, once a week, that weekly market worksheet. This should take you, my friends, 10 minutes to 15 minutes a day. Nothing more. We're not asking for crazy amounts of time, but you have to do it every day. Okay, going to go back to the weekly chart. 
Going to look quickly at the Qs. It was down 0.40% for the day. Again, we continue to see derivative oscillator move up. The price percent oscillator is moving up. Candle looks nice. We're above price as far as the weekly and the two-day trend lines go. If we go into that two-day chart, we see the same thing. Actually, just see the derivative oscillator moving over into the positive, even with a little bit of down movement for the day at 0.40%. Let's check out that four-hour chart. Again, be a little leery of that. Market slid sideways for the last two days. So watch that four-hour chart. Like we said earlier, we have had a crazy, crazy run-up. If you just got in back on the 24th, it went from somewhere around 140 to 143. If you jumped in all the way back when the weekly vertical crossover occurred at somewhere around 136 or so, I mean, incredible growth. So pay attention. We don't want to lose what we've gained. But at the same time, just like we saw when things started going down and moving toward a crossover going down on that four-hour chart back on the 31st of May, you didn't want to get out then and miss the run-up that we just had happen. So watch the chart. Watch the chart. It's all about the chart. It is a chart thing, first and foremost. Okay, back to the weekly chart. Let's talk about some positive movement up. We saw TLT move up again over the course of the day. That's a 20-year bond fund. Of course, we've got a long-standing up movement since the weekly vertical crossed over back in February. And we had the two-day vertical crossover occur back on Friday, the 19th of May. And we have four weeks or going on four weeks of up movement. We're well above the weekly trend line at this point. Derivative oscillators gaining energy. And of course, the PPO price percent oscillators continuing to spike up. Looks nice. Let's go a little deeper. Two-day chart shows us again more strong up movement. We're going to probably need to redraw our two-day trend line just so it's a little more accurate. And following that price movement, we've been able to connect now three candles going up. Remember, if you don't know how to draw these trend lines or any of the stuff we're talking about here at the website, chartingwealth.com under training, we tell you how to do all this stuff for free. Okay, this is what you need to do. Watch these things, practice every day. We will help you. So continue to see nice, beautiful price appreciation. If we check out that four-hour chart, we can see lots of up movement in the morning, bit of a pullback in the afternoon. Again, we do see that that uh, PPO is sliding a little bit sideways, derivative oscillators losing energy. So pay attention to that in case we lose that upward momentum. Pay attention. Okay, lastly, we're going to go to gold. Gold was up strong 1.13% for the day. We see the PPO on the weekly chart bounding up along with the derivative oscillator rotating over to the positive. Strong, strong up movement. Three good weekly candles that are being connected. And we even touch the Bollinger Band on the top of the wick on the latest weekly candle. We look at that two-day chart. Big, big movement throughout the course of the day. Nice, clean, ascending derivative oscillator and a spike up in the PPO, the price percent oscillator. Look at that four-hour chart. What do we see there? Strong up movement in the morning, a little bit of a pullback, moving with inside the Bollinger Bands in the afternoon. PPO is continuing to gain energy and the derivative oscillator also. So, Things are looking sweet. That four-hour chart is just beautiful. We love our four-hour chart in gold. You can trade on that chart alone, on this one ETF alone. Folks, that's where we are as we end the day. You're more curious about what we do. We'd love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. First and foremost, you got to go to the website. Subscribe to the newsletter. It is for free. We do not sell our addresses. We do not spam. The only thing you get from us is valuable, positive information. And the main thing are these daily trainings that we do on what's actually going on in the market. It is our daily review and, of course, our weekly review. You get five of those a week when the market's open every day. And they're what you need to learn this material and become a charting master. And then, my friends, the world is your oyster. You've got the golden fleece. You've got Aladdin's lamp. 
You just need to make sure that you train how to use it. God bless. All the best. Take care from chartingwealth.com.